Hey guys, it's Tiffany from supereasymath.com. Today, I'm gonna show you how to calculate the mode of a data set. Mode. What is mode? Mode is the number that appears the most often in a set of data. Things to remember when you're calculating the mode are there can be more than one mode for a given data set. Also, if there are two modes, then it's called bimodal. If there are more than two modes, then it's called multimodal. We say the data set has no modes if all the values appear the same number of times. Let's take a look at example number one. What is the mode of the following data set? Well, I need to figure out what number in this set of numbers is listed in the set most often. Well, I can just look at it because this set isn't super large and I can tell that I have two eights. So eight is my mode. It's the number that's listed the most often in the data set. Let's take a look at example number two. What is the mode of the following data set? Well, this data set is a little longer than my last data set, so it might be a little difficult for me to just eyeball it and tell what number is listed the most often in the set. So you could do something like set up a simple table and kind of tally the numbers. I could say, well, I have the number 19, and I'm gonna start a table here, and I have it one time, so I'm gonna tally it and cross it off. I have the number 28, I'm gonna list that and I see it one time, tally it, and then I'm gonna continue. Do I see another 28? Yep, cross it off and mark it. Do I see another 28? Yep, cross it off and mark it. So it looks like I have three 28s. What's the next number? I have 21. Do I have any other 21s? Yep, so let's start crossing off and marking. One for that one, one for that one, and one for that one. Okay, I got 328s it looks like. Now let's keep going. I got a 20 next. Do I have more than one 20? Yes, I do. I have one 20, and I have two 20s, and I have no more 20s. And then finally I have a 35, and only one. Well, remember the mode is the number that's listed the most often, and in this case, it's a tie for 28 and 21. So. The mode here is bimodal because there are two. So you would just list, and usually you're gonna list in numerical order. So I'm gonna list the 21. And 28 are the modes. And this is bimodal. Example number three. The following represents the age distribution of members in a gym. Find the mode. I'm going to tally just in the same way as I did on the last slide because I have quite a few numbers and I don't wanna miss anything. So I'm gonna just go in order of how the numbers are listed. My first number is 18, which I'm a long line because I have several numbers I'm gonna write. Do I see any other 18s? I'm gonna just take my eye along the line. No, I don't. So I just tell you a one for 18 and make sure it's crossed off. 21 is my next number. How many 21s do I have? I got one, mark it. Another 21, mark it. Another 21, mark it. And I'm crossing off as I go. The next number is 35. Okay, cross it off, mark it. Do I have any other 35s? Yes, I do, right here. Mark it, cross this off. Next, I have 50. One, 50, no more. Next number is 22. I have one 22, do I have any more? I have a second 22. My next number is 28. I have one 28 and I have no more 28s. And finally, my next, last number is 36 and I have one. Now I need to check to see what number I have the most of. One, three, two, one, two, one, one. It is the 21. So my mode in this case, is 21. Let's take a look at example number four. Example number four. Jack recorded the weights of the students in his class. What is the mode of the class weights? Okay, same process. 48. I'm gonna tally it up. 
I got 148, cross it off. Do I have any others? Here's one, cross it off, tally it. Another one, cross it off, tally it. No more. My next number is 50. Cross it off, tally it. Another 50 here, cross it off, tally it. Another 50 here, cross it off, tally it. Another 50 here. Cross it off and tally it. After that, I have 44. 44. Okay, cross that one off and tally it. Do I have any more 44s? Nope. My next number I have is 56. I only have one. Cross it off. Tally. Fifty-four is my next number. Cross it off and mark. And sixty-two. Make sure I cross it off. Now you might look at this and think, "Wow, it, is it really necessary to do all of that?" Well, you know what? When you have a really long data set, or it's just kind of hard to eyeball it, this really is a helpful method just to make sure you get your answer right. If you're working a problem as simple as mode. You really hate to get the answer wrong just because you miscounted or you didn't, you know, see it right. So I can see very clearly with my tally system that I have more 50s than anything else. I have one here, two, three, and four 50s. So the mode, for example, number four is 50 because it's the number that's listed the most often. Now let's take a recap. The mode is the number that appears the most often in a set of data. There can be more than one mode for a given data set. If there are two modes, then it's called bimodal. If there are more than two modes, then it's called multimodal. We say the data set has no modes if all the values appear the same number of times. Now you try. Comment with the correct answer below. What is the mode of the following data set? Nine two six four six two nine three nine four seven eight. You can check out more of my work at supereasymath.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Did you find this video helpful? Well, you can get more help from me on my website, supereasymath.com. While you're there, you can pick up my top five math tips to make learning math easy.